Hey, this is Cameron. And Evan. Welcome back to the Busy Gardener channel. I want to show you something cool that we found right here. Ice cream banana plant at Home Depot. Let's get busy. Okay, so here I am hidden in the fruit tree section of Home Depot. I was walking through, just because I always come through here to see what's going on, what kind of avocados they have, and just all the different stuff. And I found something that I, I didn't know if I'd be able to find locally, and that is this ice cream banana plant. It was something that I'd read about and thought, oh, that sounds kind of interesting, but uh, couldn't easily find it anywhere. And all of a sudden I'm walking through Home Depot, and here it is. I guess the deal is that the fruit grows kind of blue, and um, it's something that I'm gonna totally buy. So that's kind of one good reason to go into your big box stores or even your nurseries, local nurseries. There might be like one specimen of the type of fruit tree that you're looking for. And they're so my favorite. You like it? You haven't even tried it yet. I've had bananas, but they're my favorite. You like bananas? Most well, that, then I feel like I'm gonna barf. And now you're not gonna barf. This one supposedly tastes like ice cream. The, the, I read about these. The, the fruit itself turns kind of a blue color and um, is gonna be really exciting. Now, I don't really even know where in the world to plant it. We're gonna be going out of town for a little while where I'm just thinking, okay, I have to get it planted before then. So anyway, but I'm totally gonna buy this today. I'm glad I brought my Home Depot gift card that I got for my birthday. And um, so we're gonna plant this. Evan, what did we just find right behind us right here? A jujube, but not just any jujube, a long Chinese. jujube. Well, they're all Chinese, they're called Chinese dates. But every time I've come here, they've had Li. I already have Li. What I just found is long, L-A-N-G, um, which is, uh, can be pollinated by Li. And the Chinese Li. Yeah, those are the ones we already have. So guess what, I'm gonna buy this one too because I'm gonna plant it next to my Li jujube. Yay! You like jujubes? Yep. They're That's really my good. Favorite. I know they're just now. Hey, look, I was gonna leave this section. Now I'm gonna walk around and see what other little surprises jump out of me. I didn't think I was gonna walk out of here with a couple of trees. It looks like uh, the joke's on me. <laughs> okay, well I've got two jujube trees here, and now I've got to decide which one I'm gonna buy. Now remember, these both look really great, and if you were just gonna buy them and let them grow really tall, then it wouldn't be a big deal. But I'm gonna be cutting it knee high, and so I want to look down here near the bottom and see what kind of lower growth I have at knee high. And you might notice that this one has a couple of small ones, um, and this one has kind of a more robust, I don't know if you can see and it. And I would see this one. Um, yeah, probably, but then again, we've got a few. It's or you know, what about this one? What if I made a cut right here, and then we'd have a branch coming here, here, and here, as opposed to no very, no obvious, uh, you know, what do you call these? No obvious buds here. So I might actually get this one because I'm going to be cutting the top of this tree off right here. See it? Yes, I'm going to lose all that great canopy, but that's going to encourage all of this lateral growth. And these are going to turn into our structure. So I'm going to buy this one that has a few, few already established and growing um, buds. I'm also going to look at the bottom and just make sure that, yeah, the grafts both look okay. But I'm going to get this one. It has more lower scaffolding because this is where I'm going to make my cut. A lot of these big box stores have really tiny garden centers where they've got like three apples total or something. But where we live in uh, Southern California, we're really spoiled to have a really robust garden center at our local Home Depot. Um, I mean, it's a gigantic garden center that goes all the way there, but also um, has a, like several aisles of fruit trees, which for me is really exciting. So big box store isn't always bad news. Um, sometimes has some things that either your local nursery doesn't have, or you just, I, I came here to buy some, some bricks and here I'm walking out with a banana plant. All right, we have our little uh, pavers there to keep our dog inside our yard and out of the orchard. Um, we found got our little jujube and this banana, uh, this ice cream banana plant. Incredible. Go to your big box, walk through the nursery section. Sometimes you'll find things you hadn't expected to find. Um, yeah, I hope this gets you, encourages you to keep your eyes open next time you're there. Don't just go in through the screwdriver, but walk through your, the, the garden center too. Well, whether you've got one tree in your orchard or 500, until next time, stay busy.